Hi everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about assembly floating point arithmetic. If you've not watched the previous class already, please do so and the info card should be able to help you in locating the correct video. Let's get started then. So floating point registers. Floating point operations must run using dedicated registers, the XMM registers, which belong to the SSE extension. Now, these are 16 128 bits registers named XMM0 through XMM15. Recently, they have been renamed to YMM and expanded to contain up to 256 bits. And that's the AVX extension. Now, this is the register that contains control and status information for the XMMM ones. Moving data. Floating points have to be moved into the floating points registers before they can be operated upon. So if you are dealing with single precision, you will be using this one. And if you're using double precision, you're going to be using this one. As usual, source into destination. Right? Next, the following rules apply. Both operands must be of the same size. Both operands cannot be memory. Actually, you can achieve this one by using multiple instruction. You cannot do that using just a single instruction. Neither operands can be immediate. In here, XMM1 into this label. Next. Conversions. So integers have to be converted before being used with floating points. Those are just examples. There are so many of them that you will need to check your documentation. So I would say you can pause this video and I'm moving next. Floating point addition. So source plus XMM and the result into the XMM. And you're going to be using different instruction according to the precision. So destination and source must be of the same size. No memory to memory operation is allowed. Again, you need two instruction. Source operand may not be immediate. Floating point subtraction. So XMM minus source and the result into the XMM. Again, to instruction according to the precision. And again, destination and source must be of the same size. No memory to memory operation is allowed and source operand may not be immediate. Multiplication. Very similar. Again, to instruction and same rules. You can pause the video. And division, again, the same. And square root, very similar. And now we can have a look at some example. And the example, so we have some data movement, very simple. In here, we are having a conversion. So we have this value over here, which is 10. And then we move it into the standard register. And in here, we're having a conversion using the special instruction and the XMM0. In here, we are adding two labels. But as a, this one won't work, you can't do that. You have to move the first label into the XMM and then add in the second label to the XMM. This one. Then moving the final result into the third label. In here instead, we are moving the SP bar 1, which is 1.41 into the XM0 
and then we divide by zero, right? Now this instruction should change the value of this register over here, which is the status of the XMM. Let's see what happens. Okay, as usual, we build it. And we use the debugger. Okay, so let's have a look here. I'm gonna set the breakpoint here. I'm gonna run it. So I'm gonna go here and gonna do print. So 10, and that's okay. Now, if I do print, I'm still getting 10. So this one worked. Now, in here, what we have, so we have three and four, it should be something like 66.36, right? Okay, so we are here, and then we do, okay. Okay, so in here, if I do, I get exactly 66 dot 36. So this one worked as well. And now in here, let's see what happens when I execute that one, which should be divided by zero, it should raise an error. So I have my register window. Uh, if I can, yeah. Okay, in here, I want to find, yeah, that's a status. So I'm here, so that's F80. And then I do still F80. And then again, now I should change. Yep. He actually changed. That will be all for today. Subscribe, like this video, and uh, thank you very much.